up there welcome back to a brand new video guys so the vibe season for you to come up this is a beautiful last day so you guys know that we are outside doing some deliveries right now i'm dropping off this order i dropped this is my second delivery of the day so i'm waiting for this elevator to come down and then um strap you guys on enjoy the ride Just like that, we finished dropping up the second order. Now we're gonna go drop up the third order. Today is super hot out. As you guys can see, the sky is blue. Super hot out, like it's sweaty. I came in sweatpants, got the white shoes on because the black shoes, the, the bottom of it, the cleat, right? It broke off, so I had to get that replaced. So I'm gonna get that replaced this week coming up. So, you know, stay tuned because I have a bunch of videos in the making. So if you haven't, so subscribe, you know, because that helps a lot. We're almost there to 20K subscribers, so. Let's get to it boys, anyways, I love you all, remember, hold up, truck, but remember, don't give zero fucks about haters, remember, do what you love, anyways, I'm gonna strap you guys on, enjoy the ride. Right, boys just like that we finished dropping up the third order right now we're about to head to the back to the shop to pick up more orders super hot out as you guys can see i'm sweaty i came in these pants so i don't know i kind of regret it but either way you know we don't make no excuses so we gotta get to it no matter what remember f haters do what you love stay focused never give up believe in yourself and um i love you all so you know because you guys been killing it on the videos and also one more thing you guys been asking like what kind of gear i've used for example like the bag that i use and the phone pouch the chrome pouch and the type of helmet that i use so i'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the type of gear that i use so you guys could like you know buy yourself some gear the same gear that i bought because you, know? you know anyway we gotta find a dope spot right now so i can show you guys and uh, you know matter of fact i'm about to show you guys right now what kind of gear that i use all right, so let's get to it, boys. All right, guys, so this is the kind of bag that I have right now at the moment. This is called a Vessel Workshop. Got it in black. Pretty nice. This is a medium. This I know there's a small, medium, and large. This one is uh, pretty dope because it has a lot of pockets. For example, they get this, like, to open up even more to make it into a box. This clipper right here which makes it better because you know it's strong and also this you can open it to make it more bigger so you can fit stuff in there and then you have these little clippers again the interior is red you can pick that yourself and customize it also there's a little zipper you can stash anything in there and then you got another little open pocket and also you go open the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see, but they open up in the bottom. You make it more bigger. See, look at that. See that? So I really like this bag because you know it's super strong, durable. Come from the clutch. You could probably fit someone inside here too. No cap. Could definitely could fit a kid in here. <laughs> but yeah, this is the kind of bag that I'm rocking. So if you guys are interested in this kind of bag, it's called the Vessel Workshop. It's pretty nice. You also got more pockets. As you guys can see, we got the little zipper. More pockets. Got inner tubes, you know, got a coming clutch. Uh, 15 millimeter Allen keys. this put it back and what else you got a portable because you never know when your phone dies and uh another tube you know and then you got a zipper right here you know got wallet 
Allen keys, some more tools. So yeah, boys, this is the bag. It's pretty nice. I like it. So, if you guys want to buy this bag, it's called Vesto Workshop. It's a pretty nice bag. They go for at least, I think, like what, three hundred dollars. So I, I got a good, a good price. I it to my bro Sanchez. Hooked it up with the bag. I'm watching this, one of the vibes. Anyways. Me, I like the bag to be like tight and you know, like perfect, small because you know, like it's I don't know when it's like baggy, it just feels uncomfortable. But when it's baggy, it's because I have a lot of orders and I don't mind. But let's say I'm, I, let's say I'm done doing deliveries right with the orders, you know, I gotta make sure that the bag stays perfect fit because we're done. And also, I got this phone pouch from Timbuk2. I got the iPhone 8, so you know, this is a pretty big pouch. Just stash your cards in here. I have this phone pouch for at least, what, like maybe two years so far? So the little glue thing, right, the sticky thing, coming off so i gotta replace that so if you guys know any phone pouches that are, are good comment down below let me know because i would look into it also know that i rock the quad lock too as well whenever like you know i'm looking at directions or like trying to go somewhere you know so i just put the phone right here just put it sideways push right and just boom you go and i'm telling you when you're riding this thing is going to keep your phone like in place it's not going to move nothing like trust me like i've been in in situations where like you know i'm just riding you know riding over like bumps whatever and you know my phone is just there it doesn't move so i mean right now i have to get it replaced because this one is kind of already messed up because i you know i saw on this bike but i mean it's still it's still holding on strong like i've had i haven't had any problems but yeah so that's that also guys got the chrome pouch pretty dope chrome industry pouches i haven't heard about them like i think they uh they closed their shops due to COVID. <clears throat> excuse me but um yeah this is a pretty dope pouch it's pretty nice just stash a lot of stuff in there not that much but it's pretty nice because it's small perfect and then you can also put your u-lock in there so you know you just gotta slide it in there it comes with a little belt too as well so yeah guys that's that i hope you uh guys you know go out there look for the bag that you guys like i mean i like the vessel bags you know because it's pretty nice i used to have the waterproof messenger bag but um i changed it because you know it's i wanted a bigger bag so that's that there's also a lot of bags out there that you guys could also use and um you know for deliveries you know to walk around whatever also i got a cask helmet you guys been asking like oh do you got do you like more the poke helmet than the cask helmet and to be honest i like the cask helmet it just looks pretty nice and it sits beautiful on you it has a little net underneath that's just so perfect and then it comes with this this little you know clip thing made in italy so yeah guys i guys recommend to get this helmet it comes with a lot of colors black green i chose red because you guys know that i like the color red just like the shark so yeah guys um today is friday and um it's 12 57 in the afternoon so better head back to the shop pick up more orders and go along with the day so if you guys have any ideas or anything you guys want me to film comment down below and let me know because i will check into it and make a video out of it feel me so you know get the drone out pretty looking I, by the way i clean her you know i clean everything like clean the cranks the chain the cog 
always gotta make sure you clean your bike after you ride it in the rain because it's gonna get messed up especially the chain you know gotta grease it up and always i mean i always take care of my stuff because you know i'm a clean person and then also like you know you never know whatever you want to sell your bike in the near future you know you got so you always got to take care of your stuff and uh, i mean a lot of people have been asking me about this bike like they want to buy it and honestly i don't want to sell it because this bike been with me for with, through so much it's pretty crazy like just look at this like i know you guys like this bike got the carbon heads you guys are in the vibes the 780 wide risers uh zero tolerance construction thompson thompson c post i gotta get a new saddle so stay tuned for that comment down below what kind of saddles you guys think i'm gonna get haha <laughs> anyways here's the bike sitting nice and clean i also tie her up i took everything apart because you know like that day i crashed on the Penarello. if you guys haven't checked the video out go check it out i'm gonna link it in the description but yeah, that day I crashed. Uh, I don't know, I just felt like my bike was loose. So now it feels good. It feels, you know, stiff. And that's what you want. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna strap you guys on. Head back to the shop, pick up my orders. Enjoy the ride. Look at this John. Fully carbon fiber. Seginos. Phil hubs. Thompson rises, Thompson stem. This is my first time riding a carbon. Oh my god, it's so small. This frame is so like.
All right, guys, just like that, we finished dropping up the third order. Pretty dope. Right now, it's kind of drizzling, so we're going to, you know, try to hurry up and drive back to the shop and, you know, wait for orders. So in the meantime, you know, take cover while it's raining out. Supposedly, it's going to stop. So, I mean, it is going to stop in a couple of minutes. So, you know, hopefully it stops. Today, I get out at 9, so, you know, should be going fast, so... Yeah, I'm all golden cut with Santos right now. He's at the store waiting for me. And uh, yeah, I also filmed a couple of clips. So if you guys want to check that out, go click the link. Not, not the link. Go to my Instagram and um, go check out the videos that I post. You know, super dope, you guys. So go check it out. And uh, yeah, this is the, got the drone out. She's a bit dirty right now. A bit rusty. Well, not rusty, just dirty because the rain, you know. And then the chain, you know, I gotta clean her up again because it's raining, but I'll clean her up in the next two days because, you know, it might rain again tomorrow, so there's no point of cleaning it. But I mean, either way, you still have to clean your bike, you know, like at least, you know, give it a little wipe down because if you don't clean it, it's gonna get rusty and effed up. So yeah, guys, so if you guys, you know, if you guys need some parts, let me know. I'll hook you, I'll hook you guys up. I'll hook it up, let me know. Anyways, uh, this is the John. Got to get new tires next week, though. I got something in the making, so stay tuned for that. It's a, start, it's a project, like not. It's, it's kind of like a project, but stay tuned for that. You guys are gonna be amazed, trust me. And I'm gonna be super hyped. You know, it's just, this video's gonna be super, more fire. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna strap you guys on and enjoy the ride. dropping off the last order of the day it is 8 11 at night it's a pretty chill night it start raining you know we outside getting to it as everyone should got the bro sanchez with me shout out to you you know for pulling up with me and stopping up at every delivery got film a quick montage of his bike it's pretty sick i like it um what else guys so um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and right now we're about to head back to the shop you know make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't so so yeah i'm gonna film uh, more videos right now of uh the bikes and uh if you guys have any more ideas on what kind of videos you guys want to see let me know that in the comments and uh, remember to uh Keep going, do what you do, and F haters. So I'm gonna try the guys on and enjoy the ride. Mm -hmm. 